Windows XP Service Pack 2 on a Western Digital WD400 hard drive connected with external hard drive, I guess, cables bought from eBay. 11%. So that's working. Doing its thing. Just got this in the mail today. Not even 20 minutes ago, so having fun with this a lot. And I'll do another video once everything comes back. Okay, so here we are. Um, we are currently booted into Ubuntu. Um, there's the external hard drive all set up. Uh, plugged in, ready to go. There it is. Um, installed. And here are all my Windows files. Program files, documents and settings, everything like that. Um, so, I will now uh, shut down and reboot into my external hard drive which houses Windows XP and uh, also show you how I set up the page file system to work. Um, basically what I did, I installed, uh, well I actually cut down my swap partition on my internal hard drive um, because my computer rarely ever goes to swap so I don't need a gig and a half of swap partition so I cut that down to one gig and then okay so here we are booting into USB device so then after having uh, about 500 megs of unallocated space I uh, turn that to an NTFS partition which after I rebooted into Windows was recognized as a second drive so when, once I boot up here into Windows you will notice that I do not get the page file warning that is commonly associated with this hack so no page file warning. Here we are, booted up. Again, there's Rocket Dock installed, installed with my three programs that I only ever use, Sibelius 5, Reason 4, and Adobe Audition 3. Completely ready to go, boots a heck of a lot faster than it did before without that extra partition. So, after uh, after setting up that swap partition, you go to Control Panel, System, Advanced, Performance, Settings, Advanced, Virtual Memory down here at the bottom, go to Change, then up here, it's not really clear on the video here, but you can see there is your C drive and the F drive which was uh, allocated to uh, to be the page file size which is located on my internal hard drive and then so I s you select the internal partition um, it tells you how much space is available I have 498 megabytes 500 and then you click either system manage size or custom size whatever you want and then click set right over here then OK and then it'll tell you to reboot and then you do that and you'll be totally fine so then I can go into a program say for example reason
I'm going to reason, there we go. And before, I couldn't do this without that partition. So I can go into my collection of refills, Abbey Road Keyboards, um, which is a huge collection. Uh, Hammond RT3, just pick the first one, and that has over 800 patches, which it needs to load. And this will load this no problem at all. You can sort of see it going down there. Very blurry, but before it wouldn't even get to 200 left, and it would say that it was out of memory. So... Just about finished. And there we go. Abbey Road keyboard. The Hammond RT3 presets. All loaded up and ready to go. So that's Windows running off an external with page files. So now I can actually edit this video with Windows Movie Maker and put it online for all of you wonderful folks to see. Thanks for the hack, and you can go to the website and try it all out for yourself.